The Israeli preemptive strike came in the early hours. Huge explosions rupturing the morning quiet across southern Lebanon. The IDF says this attack was an act of self defense and was the result of precise intelligence that Hezbollah was about to launch a retaliatory assault following the assassination of their top commander in Beirut in late July. The targets were missiles and rocket launchers, with Israel saying it had neutralized the worst. But this is unlikely to be the end of the matter. What happened today is not the end of the story. Hezbollah tried to attack the state of Israel with rockets and drones early in the morning. We instructed the IDF to carry out a powerful preemptive strike to remove the threat. The IDF destroyed thousands of short-range rockets and they were all intended to harm our citizens and our forces in Galilee. Hezbollah, for its part, says it did manage to launch hundreds of missiles and rockets at nearly a dozen Israeli military bases, releasing this video complete with triumphant music. In the north, families and their pets were woken to the sounds of war as the country's Iron Dome defence system blasted the fire out of the sky. For this assault, the militant group is also claiming victory. We were ready after the funeral of Commander Mohsen. Our fighters, our weapons, our plan, everything. We just had some details of which targets we will hit, which I will talk about later. But we are ready. The cross-border exchange of fire has continued throughout the day, albeit at a slower pace. And as you drive through the border areas, it is unnerving. We are just a few kilometres from the Israeli border and the towns and villages here in southern Lebanon are deserted. They're like ghost towns. Most people have fled to safer areas, as they have too across the border in Israel. Now, people here that are remaining and across the rest of the country are fearful with this latest escalation about what comes next. Is this another step closer to an all-out war between Hezbollah and Israel? Dr. Khaled El Hajj tells me his family have left for the safety of Beirut. He says what is unfolding now is a catastrophe. Uh, it was a terrible night. We couldn't sleep. It started around uh, 4.45, something like this, you know, and since that time, and we are still awake. This round of fighting does appear to be over for now, but the threat hanging over the region remains. It feels to many here as though a wider war may not be far away. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Southern Lebanon.